Today we're going to answer the question, how do I create HTML pages and CSS style sheets? And this is actually pretty easy. I'm going to start um, by creating a folder on my desktop. And I highly recommend whenever you start a new HTML, a new website project, always start by just creating a, a one folder that all your files are going to go into. It doesn't matter where it's located, just make sure it's really easy for you to get to. I am going to do mine on the desktop here, um, and I'm going to call mine, because we're going to be building a coming soon page, like uh, kind of a, for a, a website that's coming soon. Um, so I'm just going to call it coming soon. And there's some reasons for this. I'm going to do all lowercase, no spaces in the name, and I'll explain later why. Um, but that's just going to make life easier for you in the future. So I recommend create a folder either on your desktop or in your documents folder or wherever you, that's that's comfortable for you and, and name it something that's all lowercase, no spaces. Uh, coming soon is a great idea if you're going to build a coming soon website. Um, and inside here, this is empty right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to put our HTML and our CSS files in there. Um, let's go ahead and open up Text Wrangler, because the first thing we need to do is we're going to create our HTML page. Um, so I've got a blank page right here. I'm just going to put some placeholder text here. It's like, this is going to be our HTML page. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this as, and I need to actually save this. It is in text format. Okay, but I do need to give it, and by the way, if this isn't open, you can just click that open like that. I'm going to give it a very special name. I'm going to put it inside my coming soon folder. I've got to save it in that coming soon folder. I'm going to save it as index.html. Okay, so it's going to be called index.html. I'm going to put it inside my coming soon folder. And I'll explain in a second why we're calling this index.html. But now I'm going to move on and I'm going to create a new text document again. And notice what just happened here. As soon as you have more than uh, w one document open in Text Wrangler, you get this Text Wrangler opens up this little currently open documents window over here. And that makes it really nice and simple for you to just bounce back and forth between the two files. Love it. So now this is going to be our CSS file, our CSS style sheet. So I'm going to say this is going to be our CSS style sheet. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to save this. And again, I'm going to do save as. I'm going to save it in the same location as index.html, so still inside that coming soon folder. But I'm going to call this, let's say I'm going to call it style.css. So let's go ahead and save that. And so now we've got two files. We've got index.html and we have style.css. So let's have a look at this folder here. There we go. We've got coming soon and inside there we've got index.html, style.css. The important thing, style can technically be called anything, the style.css can be called anything you want, but it has to end with .css. Okay, that's the important thing. I like calling it style because that just makes sense. Um, index.html has to end with .html or .htm. I like, I prefer HTML because it's HTML language. Um, where does the word index come from? Index is like a default name for web pages. When you go to a web server, okay, because typically when you go to a web server, you just type the words, you just type www.whatever.com, right? And when you go there, it automatically loads, it looks for, the web browser will automatically look for a file, any file on that server called index.html or index, anything that's called index. And it will give you the first file it finds that's called index. And it says, oh, this is what you want. If it can't find a file called index, then it doesn't know what to show you. Um, so it is possible to call this something else, like you could have called it coming soon.html, but then that means that for viewers to go to your website, they need to actually type in www.whatever.com slash coming soon.html. If this makes sense, great. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. We're going to be reviewing this again when we start talking about FTP, a few uh, a few screencasts on. Um, but that's really why we call it index.html, uh, because this is just going to be a single page, and we just want it to load automatically as soon as people get to our website. Okay? Um, one last thing. Chances are we're going to have images on this page, right? Right. So because we're going to have images, we need to store these images somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder inside my coming soon folder called images. All right. So now there's three items inside my coming soon folder. I've got images, 
I've got index.html, and I've got style.css. And inside here, this is where, inside this images folder, this is where I'm going to put all the images. I don't have any images yet, but that's where they're going to go. Okay? That's it for this screencast. I hope that you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.